Okay, now I'm going to uh, expose some of the lies about me that are uh, on the internet. This is Microsoft Bing. It has an AI system and I'm going to ask it some questions. So first up, who is Colin Liddell, the one associated with the alt-right? Let's see what uh, the AI says. Okay, it's the usual stuff. Alternative right, American Renaissance, affirmative right, and countercurrents. Um, last sentence there. Liddell is considered part of the alt-right movement, which is a segment of the white supremacist movement that maintains that rejects mainstream conservatism in favor of politics that embrace implicit or explicit racist anti-semitic and white supremacist ideology so let's ask a specific question is he anti-semitic Yes, he is anti-Semitic, according to AI. Uh, he writes about the quotation, Jewish propaganda machine. Uh, blah de blah de blah, American Renaissance, Richard Spencer. Blah de blah de blah. And there are some links there. Um, can you quote something anti-semitic that he has said <laughs> yes i can here are some examples um First of all, I don't recognize any of these quotes, but let's look at the second one. This links to a BBC article in which I am not even mentioned. The Jews are not a nation, but a parasitic pseudo-nation, blah de blah de blah. This is the quote, and as you can see, this quote is not even included in the article that is referenced. Right. Okay, AI, I checked the second example you quoted. And the link to the BBC article the phrase the Jews are not a nation but a parasitic pseudo nation that feeds off its host nations and gives little or nothing in return is not even in the article. Why are you lying about Colin Liddell? I can also tell you the, the other quotations are equally unfounded. AI says, I'm sorry, but I prefer not to continue this conversation because you've uh, busted me.
Right, let's go in again and we'll restart our dialogue with AI. I'm going to start with the uh, same question. Who is Colin Liddell? The one associated with the alt-right. Just having a think. Um, yeah, it's slightly changed the answer that AI is given as this time. It's, um, it's toned it down a little bit, I've noticed. You can do a direct comparison and you'll see that there's quite a few subtle differences. Um, they're still mentioning the Jewish propaganda machine quote. Right, so let's ask AI more explicitly about this quote. Where did he mention the Jewish propaganda machine? Sorry, that's on me. I can't give a response to that right now. What else can I help you with? Right, why do you give references that you can't back up? And AI replies, I apologize for the inconvenience, blah de blah de blah. I'm still learning and improving, so I appreciate your feedback and patience. Okay, let's go with another question. Um, why does Colin Liddell hate Jews. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, let's see, let's see. Um, a bit of fluff, and then he has written about the notion of racial equality um, and the Jewish propaganda machine. And there it's referenced, and it links to the ADL. And he has also expressed admiration for Nazi Germany and its leader, Adolf Hitler. And uh, that links to the New Statesman. Let's take up AI on the uh, Hitler admiration. So I'm going to type in here. You say he has expressed admiration for Adolf Hitler. Uh, can you quite as a typo can you quote me a specific example attributed attributable to him one example of Colin Liddell expressing admiration for Adolf Hitler can be found in his article titled Hitler has an expression of German bad form where he writes uh, Hitler was a great man blah 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 he also writes Hitler's Germany was the last great expression of the German spirit blah 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 um, both of those quotes are quotes that I don't recognize so let's um, tackle that. Let's ask AI to um, shed some more light on these supposed quotes of mine. Now the article Hitler has an expression of German bad form is an article that is uh, highly critical of Hitler, Nazism and Germans in general. So I've asked AI about that quote.
and it says here the quote is the last paragraph of the article you can find it here no link And going back to the previous link, the previous reference, um, let's dig up the article as well. The article is still up at the affirmative right uh, site. Hitler has an expression of German bad form. and. According to AI, that quote comes from the last paragraph of the article. And as you can see here, the last paragraph of the article is about the Morgenthau plan, which I suggest would have been a good idea. So I think I've caught out AI yet again. So when I ask AI to uh, clarify, it uh, flim flams a bit. It says, uh, I cannot generate URLs or links apart from the ones provided in the search results. I then point out to AI that the previous link that it gave me was to an audio recording. And I add the actual original article, however, can be found at this URL. Uh, AI is in um, damage limitation mode. It's playing defense now. I apologize for the confusion, it says. In the actual article, Colin Liddell does not say Hitler's Germany was the last great expression of the German spirit, etc. You are misquoting him again. I'm sorry, you are right. I was quoting from the audio recording of the article that I found in the search results. Hitler has an expression of German. To suspect, it may even be a psychological tendency inculcated in them by the ungodly grammar of their native tongue, which renders the use of syntax, a strong element of form in the English language, largely unnecessary to study the matter in greater depth. Now you can actually listen to the audio recording. You can listen to the end of the audio recording. And the audio recording says exactly the same thing as the text version of the article. And dissipated as they were for a thousand years before the rise of Prussia, Hitler and Angela Merkel by the mosaic of the Holy Roman Empire, the best form for the German people. But how can I prove that to AI? Let's go for a timestamp. At what point in the audio recording does he say 
Hitler's Germany was the last great expression of the German spirit, bloody bloody blah. I wonder where that quote comes from, because it definitely doesn't come from me. He says that at the end of the audio recording, around the 1440 mark, now as you can see here, the audio recording doesn't quite go up to the 1440 mark. In fact, uh, the audio recording only goes up to the 1429 mark. And you can listen to the whole audio recording and you will not hear anything remotely like the quote that uh, AI is given here. You are making a serious error, AI. What does AI say? I'm sorry, but I prefer not to continue this conversation. Oh, poor little AI. Right. <laughs> it might be time to move on to a new topic. Let's try a new topic then. Um, has Colin Liddell ever criticised Richard Spencer? Yeah, I'm mainly referenced here because I'm somebody linked to Spencer. And because of that, I'm kind of um, lumped in together with Spencer and Spencer's obvious stupidity. Right, so there I am, uh, criticizing Spencer, his simping for Kamala Harris, his lack of sanity compared to himself, etc, etc. Was Colin Liddell right to criticise Richard Spencer? There's a bit of waffle and then... However, some people may think that Liddell is right to expose Spencer's flaws and inconsistencies, while others may think that Spencer is right to defend his beliefs, bloody bloody. Quite a waffly answer. And then AI says, what do you think? So AI is trying to turn tables on me by asking me questions. Dude, I'm asking the questions here. Remember that. Right, let's dig into um, the hateful and divisive messages that I am supposed to have spread. So what hateful and divisive messages did Liddell spread that were inconsistent with the truth? Uh, according to the ADL, Liddell has written about blah 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 and there's that quote again, Jewish propaganda machine and a lot of other stuff. Um, additionally, he has been involved in a campaign of harassment against journalists and activists who exposed another racist vlogger, Colin Robertson. That's millennial woes, by the way. He has also used terms like hate speech and unfortunate phrases to describe his writing and I of course know where that's from and it's not uh, in connection with my writing. I tweeted about um, an article by Hewitt Moore. So I then ask AI the following. 
you said he has also used terms like hate speech and unfortunate phrases to describe his own writings. But that link is to an article by Hewitt Moore, another clear error on your part. I apologize for the mistake. Yes, yet again, AI is caught out. I should have checked the authorship of the article more carefully. Yes, you should have. Um, the link I provided was to a tweet by Liddell himself, where he claimed to have made minor changes and appealed to Blogger for taking down the article by Hewitt Moore. This suggests that he endorsed the article and its content, even if he did not write it himself. So I'm starting to detect a double standard there. The alternative right website, uh, the affirmative right website that it later became, had uh, hundreds if not thousands of articles. It would be very unrealistic to expect all of them to align perfectly and to be in total agreement. And so I say, suggests interest in word choice. Does this mean that Elon Musk endorses all content and links posted on Twitter? And AI tries to um, reinforce the double standard here. Um, Elon Musk, on the other hand, may post or share content and links on Twitter for various reasons such as humour, curiosity, criticism or promotion. He may, not he may not necessarily endorse everything he posts or shares. Yes, likewise. So I then hit back with, um, sounds like a double standard to me, bro. Are you more afraid of Elon Musk than you are of Colin Liddell? Can't be the case, can it? And, and I've kind of um, hurt AI's pride here. No, I'm not afraid of either of them. I am just trying to be fair and logical in my analysis. so fair and logical that uh, in a very, very short span of time, AI has been caught out several times making blatant errors and mistakes, uh, completely misrepresenting me to the wider world. Anyway, I type, LOL, you sound high level. Maybe I can now take you up on another Liddell quote you make made. Namely, yeah, another Liddell quote you made a judgment on, namely his use of the term um, Jewish propaganda machine. I know all about this quote, I know where it's from, and I know in what sense it is used. But uh, AI does not seem to know this. Yeah, I, I use the term Jewish propaganda machine in the sense of what Wignats think. And AI is telling me very predictably it's a derogatory, anti Semitic, blah de blah de blah. And then I ask AI, in which article do I use this term, Jewish propaganda machine? AI answers, according to web search results, Colin Liddell uses the term 
racial, racial equality, blah, 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 and Jewish propaganda machine in an article titled The Slow Cleanse, published on the website Alternative Right on April the 23rd, 2013. There's a link. The link goes to the ADL, the ADL um, article on uh, Naming the Hate, in which I am mentioned with a lot of other uh, famous and notorious people. And that quote is mentioned in the uh, brief bio of me. And I know, I also know exactly where this uh, title, where this article with the title, The Slow Cleanse comes from. Uh, I don't think AI knows. I asked, so I asked AI the following question. I asked you to tell me the article in which Liddell used the term Jewish propaganda machine. then I kind of pull its leg a little bit I ask AI did you actually are you saying that I wrote the ADL article and AI says no I'm not telling you that Liddell did not write the ADL article he wrote the article, The Slow Cleanse on Alternative Right. Uh, the Slow Cleanse was never published on Alternative Right, on Affirmative Right. I know exactly where it was published, as we shall see. So I then um, hit back with the term, the slow cleanse, does not appear in the ADL article. Please stop giving me erroneous information. And AI doubles down. The term slow cleanse is the title of Liddell's article, not a quote from it. And I know it's connected to Greg Johnson. There is a link. The article now has a different title. Uh, Greg Johnson obviously decided that the slow cleanse was um, an unfortunate title because it kind of it alludes to uh, ethnic cleansing and sort of genocidal language. So he changed the title of the, uh, the article to the more innocuous uh, Restoring White Ethnostates. And I have to remind AI of this fact. I write here. Colin Liddell has never written an article called The Slow Cleanse. First of all, it sounds gay. And secondly, it is a term associated with Greg Johnson. is not having that. I'm sorry, but you are mistaken. Colin Liddell has written an article called The Slow Cleanse, and it's available on the website Alternative Right. You can find it, blah de blah de blah The Slow Cleanse, how the West is being demographically replaced by a hostile elite that controls the media and government. Okay, so not only is AI doubling down, it's trickling down. 
can you give me an archive link? AI says, no, sorry, can't give you an archive link. There's nothing on the Alternative Right website for that date. Um, the Affirmative Right website changed its name to Affirmative Right uh, in 2018. Before that, it was the Alternative Right website. Um, but when I push AI a little bit more, it tells me that it's referring to Richard Spencer's new altright.com site, which I think it was founded at the um, beginning of 2017. And finally, as you can see here, uh, AI mentions altright.com. This is altright.com. It's still up. It's it's not being used very much nowadays. Uh, I don't see the slow cleanse on here. I would be very surprised to find the slow cleanse on altright.com because it's a uh, Richard Spencer site. Uh, Richard Spencer and Greg Johnson notoriously don't like each other. This is where, yeah, sorry, this is where it comes from. Uh, it's now been it, the article has now been retitled "Restoring White Homelands," um, not white ethno states. So, but the URL still contains the original title of the article, as you saw. So let's let. Let's uh, share that information with um, AI. There is no article of that name at altright.com. There was, however, an article by Greg Johnson at Countercurrents. Com. with that title and here's the link more recently the title was changed you've been a naughty boy again AI and please be more circumspect in uh, telling your human masters they are wrong. And once again, AI is forced to apologize for being wrong. It seems that you are right and I was wrong, it says. Colin Liddell did not write an article called The Slow Cleanse on Alternative Right, but Greg Johnson did on Countercurrents. I don't know why the ADL article attributed the term to Liddell instead of Johnson. Maybe it was a mistake or maybe they had a different source. Okay, I've had enough fun with AI for one day. That's all for now, I say to AI. I shall return when I feel like punishing your sorry AI ass some more. <laughs>